an original idea is an idea that is not thought of by anyone before you. So that means that no one in the world can have had that same idea before you. Yet we still strive to get that perfect original idea that will just blow pe people's minds. But they don't exist. Sorry, but there's just no such thing as an original idea. So we all just copy each other. Of course not. There are no such thing as an original idea, but we still can be original. It's actually very hard not to be. The way we express that idea, thought, or concept is original. It's authenticity. And no one can take that away from you, because no matter how many people who express something on that very same idea, your expression will still be different and unique to you, unless you're straight up copying someone. Makes sense. Um, I know I just said all that stuff about authenticity and everything is basically original, but copying is still a thing and we still need to address that, I think. Because if you're a great artist and you have spent a lot of time coming up with um, something that you really enjoy and that you're proud of, just seeing someone else copying that without really recognizing you is kind of not funny <laughs> but i still kind of encourage copying because it's pretty good if you're um trying to learn faster because just copying someone else's piece will kind of make you think of how to do it and how to get to the different steps um, and that can really make you learn a lot faster in comparison to you having to think a lot about the concept and how it's gonna look and all that stuff and you can just focus on the technical aspect and the like the execution aspect um, and I think that's very great uh, to do that so yeah I think it's awesome to copy people um, if it's just to learn and to like be educated in that way because it just is faster and it is an easier way to learn if you don't like have a teacher who will tell you stuff um, so yeah, but then just don't share the work because it's just something for you and for you to learn so you don't have to put it out on social media. But if you are gonna publish it, like putting it out on social media or something, just, <laughs> just remember to give the artist credit in the right way. So if you straight up, uh, straight up copied something, just say that you copied this one. You reach a point um, someday where you have to stop copying uh, other people and I think that is when you start to develop your own style and kind of figure out what you want to create as an artist and who you want to be as an artist. Um, and right then and there you just stop copying other people because I also think that that's when you have figured out how to do stuff and have learned the stuff that you can learn from copying other artists. When you reach that point, you can still take inspiration from other artists. And I'm gonna explain how to do that. Right now. Hello. <laughs> okay, this is quite uncomfortable, but the first thing you can do is, if you're used to like having the thing that you're copying right in front of you, you can just start to uh, create from memory only. So you, See an image you want to create it and you just put the image away and you, maybe you look at it when the image um, that you're gonna create is all finished um, and it will automatically be more yours than if you just looked at the image all the way through I'm sorry <laughs> it's not because fashion but because I like to please my feet. <laughs> this is nice, okay? Don't judge. <laughs> so I think the way most artists work and find their ideas is just by taking bits and pieces from other artists and just other things in general and putting them together and develop the like expression from that. And I know this video is about how to take inspiration from other artists, but the bits and pieces that you can like take um, as inspiration doesn't even have to be from an artist. It can literally be anything. Like maybe I saw this flower and I like the the combination of the green and the yellow and the purple. 
complementary colors <laughs> and I want to create something with that. You know, it can literally be anything um, and your experiences as well. Um, yeah, <laughs> everyone is kind of copying <laughs> each other. No, everyone is not copying each other, that is taking inspiration. And I think that is what we just need to learn. And I think it really starts when you don't <laughs> just look at that one photo and really try to replicate it. And you just go out and make your own version of that thing, if that makes sense. The reason that I wanted to make this video was really because when I started out with my photography journey I had some artists that I absolutely absolutely <laughs> loved and I just wanted to be like them and I just wanted my style to look exactly <laughs> like their style. I had no idea how my style could be different from theirs and still look good. Like I thought that if it was just a teeny tiny bit different from the way that they created it would just be bad because they were amazing but I have and <laughs> after like a year of just creating I think I have found a way of doing it um, and still making your own art look good and not just copying um, that artist's style and that is to really analyze what it is that you love because I know that you love everything about that artist but if you really dig deep and really like get to analyzing I think you'll figure out that there is some elements that you love more than the others and the others you might just like <laughs> I'm gonna use an example with an artist called Brooke Shaden you probably know her she's amazing and she creates amazing fine art photography and I loved it and I thought that I had to create just like her in order to succeed really um, and it was the same way with another artist that I loved called Schwatek <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that name right um, but he really creates um, kind of twisted portraits of mostly women and I love them, I love everything about it. I would just shift my mood every single day and some days I would create like complete replicates of Brooke Shaden and other days I would just create something that was completely schwatzig. And at some point I figured out that I could actually start analyzing, I had to <laughs> start analyzing these artists and really figure out what it was that I loved about them because I know that <laughs> I just loved everything about it and it was just amazing and I could never be at that level unless I just like replicated it. Um, but I actually figured out that <laughs> if I mixed all of my favorite artists together I would get something even more amazing and that was my own style and the exact way that I love to create. And the way you do it is really just analyze, <laughs> analyze that one artist and figure out, figure out what it is that you love about that artist because you don't love every single part, you just don't, I promise you, <laughs> you just have to sit down and really like suck it in and really figure out what it is that you love. And for Brooke Shaden, I figured out that I really love the way uh, that she adds texture to her photos in order to make it um, more painterly and kind of get that feel. Uh, so I still add that to all my images today. And for Schwatik, I figured out that I love the way that he posts his models. Um, so I still use those kind of twisted and bit weird poses today. Um, and then that way you can really just combine like hundreds of artists and that will be your own unique style. And I also figured out what I didn't love about those artists. For example, for Brooke Shaden, I did not love um, her very muted and desaturated tones. I, if you look at my, my photos now, you also see that it's very vibrant and a lot of colors. If you just combine all those artists, that is you. And then use themes from your own life and from your own experiences and ideas that you have some sort of in connection to, then it will be yours and original and authentic. I just needed to add this very quickly. We can, after all, only create 
from what we know and what we have experienced and seen and all that stuff so thinking that you have to just come up with an completely original idea just out of the blue sky just doesn't exist and <laughs> I don't know if it was just me but when I started out I just thought that all those great artists <laughs> their ideas just came from the blue sky and had like they didn't um, take inspiration from anywhere really that's <laughs> I don't know if it makes sense but I think that's what I thought <laughs> and it just doesn't doesn't make sense like it has to come from somewhere and so you you have to take inspiration from somewhere um, you can't not take inspiration but yeah, that was it for today's video. If you want to know more about photography from me, I have this other video on six ways to instantly take better photos that I think you'd enjoy. <laughs> and I would love to hear in the comments down below just your thoughts um, on this subject with like taking inspiration and copying and all that stuff because, because I think there's a lot of people with op with op with opinions <laughs> with opinions on that and that would just be very interesting to start a conversation down below so let's do that yeah um but yeah subscribe like if you like the video and <laughs> hit the bell button to be notified every single sunday when i post a new video and until next time bye <laughs>